when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala approaches us on the day of judgment and he asks us, what did you do for my sake? We want to say, at least we did something. <sighs> SubhanAllah, for me, sorry, it's just a bit emotional. Um, Assalamu alaikum, I'm uh, Brother Ennis and I've been with IDC, SubhanAllah, it's been a long time. I think more than seven years now. How did I get in contact with IDC? Ooh, long story, but I'll give you the brief of it. Uh, it was from another charity that we used to work with. Because we were doing work together, I found out about IDC. And later on, I moved into Newcastle, which was obviously the closer of the two. And I started volunteering with IDC. Let me just give you a bit of a back, uh, background info. Before I got involved with IDC, um, I always wanted to be involved in Dawah. And however, I never got the chance of it because even though I was gaining knowledge or whatever, I was just inspired by people giving dawah so I wanted to be involved in that and alhamdulillah once I moved into Newcastle when I joined IDC they said that we need you for the dawah so it was like subhanallah I was making dua before that and this time it actually happened so subhanallah uh, when I joined IDC I wanted to be on the dawah team and I've been doing it for subhanallah seven years now it's been a long time and it's been a brilliant experience for me well, lately I've been, uh, even though I'm a part of volunteer for the Dawa store, I am actually one of the main admins. I'm the operations and administrative officer at IDC. And uh, I just administer or watch over the charity, answering emails, etc. etc. I take care of everything, basically, in a nutshell. <laughs> SubhanAllah, there's a lot. But the most significant one was, for me personally, was a very recent one. I got a phone call from a brother I know from the masjid and he was like, brother, do you know this language? And I said, well, yeah, of course I knew. And they're like, oh, I have a person who wants to take a shahad. And I was like, of course. So I got in touch, we went to the mosque. It was the sister that she was very interested in Islam. And when I explained um, what Islam is and how we view Islam through the lenses of how we practice it, she just broke down. and. And when she took that leap, when she took that shahada, it was so unanimous, all of us broke down. It, it really, really moved me as a volunteer and it just humbled me down as well. It's just as a reminder that we're all here on this planet and we all have the mission of the prophets, which is a big mantle to take uh, in my life. And subhanAllah, it was my first and still only shahada, regardless, even though I've been doing it for seven years. But it, it was something else, for sure, it was something else. IDC has helped me to develop myself as an individual. It has given me a platform where you can actually do a lot for the sake of Allah. Now, I don't view IDC as just your normal charity. No, 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 no. I'm actually viewing IDC as an organization, a platform, if you will, for you, and I'm talking to yourself for future listeners, to do dawah in any shape, uh, way or form. So for me personally, yes, I might have been involved in the dawah scene personally, but that can't stop you, for example, to be involved in anything else. That's SubhanAllah, we all have a, a, an opportunity here that we need to take advantage of to keep this beautiful gift of Islam to ourselves. Yes, of course, we need to practice it. Yes, of course, we need to pray five times a day. Yes, of course, we need to observe Islam in the best manner possible. But part of that is actually given dawah to the people because we as Muslims sincerely hope that this beautiful gift of Islam can be given to everyone. As the Prophet Muhammad sallam, said, I came as a mercy to mankind, not just obviously just for the Muslims. So we need to share that gift. So IDC, coming back to the point, has given me this beautiful platform and chance to shape my life for the sake of Allah. <laughs> For me, sorry, it's just a bit emotional. Um, SubhanAllah, for me, it was always a chance to, and it was an answer for my du'as personally. <clears throat> sorry. Ever since I started practicing, I've been making du'a to get involved in Dawasu, and IDC has provided that platform to do that. And inshallah, may Allah use me as a tool to guide the people to the best of my abilities. But coming back to the point, why should you join IDC? It's a chance, and Allah on this earth gives a chance to everyone, because it's given a chance to me, which I have taken it. And of course I have my shortcomings, SubhanAllah. But it is a chance for yourselves to earn good deeds, 
So that doesn't mean you get involved in DAO or whatever, but even if you support IDC through any means possible, sharing the good work that we do, inshallah, by the permission of Allah, of course, be it your donations, be it, you know, getting involved as a volunteer, be it part of this beautiful exhibition that is happening right now. I mean, subhanAllah, be part for the sake of Allah, because we don't have the luxury to be sitting at home just do your normal, regular job until five. And of course, Allah will handle everything else. Allah is handling your life in and out. He is giving you a platform, an opportunity to do good deeds for your own sake. So here is your chance to join IDC so you can be part of that dawah. If you don't have the necessary skills, there's training. If you don't want the training, absolutely fine. Support us financially. If you don't want to support us financially, you don't have the means, by Allah, you can share this message to someone else who can and remember brothers and sisters in islam anything that you do for the sake of allah it will be rewarded if it's sincere for his sake subhanallah i always get reminded by one of one of my sheikhs one of my teachers always says with allah you have the best of business and i asked him sheikh what do you mean the best of business and he explained allah rewards you for your intention even if you don't do it and he says tell me an employer who's going to reward you for not doing your job and even if you intended to do it it's very easy to get good deeds and bad deeds are recorded only as one. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala approaches us on the day of judgment and He asks us, what did you do for my sake? We want to say, at least we did something. Oh, Ya Rabbi. So that's why.